全民英语能力分级检定相关测验、初级模拟试题、听力测验。第一部分，看图变异。请依所听的题目和三个英文叙述，选出与所看到的图画最相符的答案。For question number one, please look at picture A. Question number one: What is Tina saying? A. The spaghetti is very delicious. B. Pork is good for your health. C. You must eat the lettuce. For questions number two and three, please look at picture B. Question number two: What is Karen doing? A. She's listening to her favorite singer sing. B. She's watching her favorite actor act in a TV show. C. She's clapping for her favorite band. Please look at picture B again. Question number three: What is George saying? A. They're a very successful band, right? B. You will never be able to play the flute like him. C. You must pay more attention to your homework. For questions number four and five, please look at picture C. Question number four. What is Barbara saying? A. You mustn't give up now. B. You don't have to do it now. C. You shouldn't do this. Please look at picture C again. Question number five. What is true about the picture? A. Leon is talking to Barbara. B. Barbara is not looking at Leon. C. Leon is almost done with the race. Second part, question and answer. Please select the English sentence from the options and choose the best suitable answer. Question number six. How long has it been since you last saw a dentist? Question number seven. I seldom do the dishes when my mother is home. Question number eight: What were you doing at ten a.m. yesterday morning? Question number nine: What are we having for dinner tonight? Question number ten. I had never eaten beef noodles until last week. Question number eleven. I've never eaten hot pot in Taiwan. Question number twelve. What do you like to do in your free time?
Question number 13. Thanks for coming to my party. Question number 14. Okay, let's go. Question number 15. This shop is so interesting. Question number 16. What's wrong? I can't find my pen. That's okay. You can use mine. Thanks. Question. What does the woman mean? Question number 17. This vest is my brother's. No, I think it's mine. No, it's his. Mine has my name on it. Look! Question. What do we know from this conversation? Question number 18. Excuse me, sir. Could you show me the way to the manager's office? Of course. This way, please. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Question. What do we know from this conversation? Question number 19. Your hair looks great today. Yours too. Thanks. I changed it a little bit. I'm thinking about changing mine too. Question. What do we know about the woman? Question number 20. Could you give me some tips? About what? Your ideas are always so interesting, but mine are usually boring. You just need to free your mind. Question. What do we know about the speakers? Question number 21. I learned to play the piano when I was in senior high school. I didn't know that. Can you play a song for me? Sure, but I'm not really good at it. That's okay. Question. What is true about the woman? Question number 22. My throat started to hurt last night. Let me see. You have a cold. Do I have to take any medicine? Yes, but you also need to drink lots of water and get some rest. Please see the nurse to get your medicine. Question. What don't we learn from the conversation?
Question number twenty-three. I plan to buy a new car at Christmas. What do you think? Sounds like a good idea. I know, right? I want to buy a sports car. Then you should start saving your money right now. Question: What do we know from this conversation? Question number twenty-four. I decided to stop eating meat. It's not healthy, and it's bad for our planet. I didn't know that. Thanks for telling me. There are other ways to save Earth too. For example. Question: What do we know from this conversation? Question number twenty-five. Why are you late again? I decided to ride my scooter here, but there was too much traffic. Didn't I tell you not to ride the scooter? It's too dangerous. I was running late, and I didn't want to keep you waiting. Question: What do we know from this conversation? Question number 26. Please look at the following three pictures. Listen to the following announcement. Which item is sold at half price when you buy two of them? Hello, everyone. Thank you for visiting Soho Department Store. Today is a perfect day for you to come here to shop for whatever you like. Men's vests on the third floor are on sale, so check them out. On the first floor, both hats and belts are on sale too. If you buy one, you can get one free. On the second floor, men's shoes are six hundred eighty dollars off. Question number twenty-seven. Please look at the following three pictures. Listen to the following message. What does Justin want to buy for Tina? Hey, Bob. I am thinking about what to buy Tina for her birthday. I just want to get the best gift possible. She already has a scarf, which I gave to her last year. As for a ring, I think it's too early to give her one. I think I'll probably buy her a simple watch. What do you think? Question number twenty-eight. Please look at the following three pictures. Listen to the following short talk. Where did Sam fall? Sam doesn't have to go to school today, so his mom takes him to the park. Sam plays happily on the slide there. There are many children playing there too. He climbs up the slide, but then falls off of it before he reaches the top. Sadly, he hurts his hand, so his mom takes him to the hospital. They walk up the stairs to the doctor's office. The doctor checks Sam's hand and gives him some medicine. Question number twenty-nine. Please look at the following three pictures. Listen to the following announcement. Which will customers get for free when they spend more than five hundred NT dollars? Welcome to Happy Pig Supermarket. 
We have several items on sale today. Oven gloves are just ninety NT dollars. There's also one hundred fifty NT dollars off all chopstick sets. If you spend more than five hundred NT dollars today, we'll give you a teapot with a beautiful flower on it. Question number thirty. Please look at the following three pictures. Listen to the following message. What hurt Mandy? Hey Carol, this is Mandy. I can't make it to your party tonight. I cut my hand with a knife while I was cooking. Also, when I was frying vegetables, the pan suddenly caught fire. I quickly put it out, but I have no idea why these things happen to me. Anyway, I'm going to the hospital now. Bye.